We had arrived in time to see the high priest bless the sacred masks of the mythological monsters of Bali, the Barongs. masks must be purified with prayers and offerings before they are used in any ritual drama. For the wearing of masks, like the playing of music, can transport the participant into the spirit world. Nikit ya was tiang, unikit di tiang barong penggelembar niki was tane barong mesolah niki, ni sampun kenten, sampun sampun puput acara di tiang yang puni kesami, tewas malah sane pacang ngiring nguning puni ke. Sampunnya tidak mundur kan kan? Wow, kan perasaan di kiri tengah keras. Eh, mengikuti tabu ni ke? Dari tarian ni ke, kan cara meriki, kan cara meriki. The Chalon Arang drama tells of the struggle between the magnificent Barong and the terrifying Rangda, the evil witch. Rangda is derived from the Indian goddess of death, Kali. In the temple forecourt, they act out a sort of cosmic battle between good and evil. Barong and Rangda are assisted by a bevy of minor characters, each of whom represents some human quality the villagers can recognize by mask, gesture and music. The gamelan musicians anticipate their every move. Suddenly, to our surprise, the Barong had to be restrained. One man inside the monster had fallen into trance, and after struggling to get out, took hold of a Chris dagger with which to stab himself. Others joined him. They tried to thrust the crooked blades into their bodies in frustration at evil Rangda's continuing power over them. Self-stabbing is also a therapeutic release of tension.
ritual exorcism will drive away the spirits of illness to preserve the health and harmony of the village.